everyone, and thank you for joining us today for a special Hour of Code video chat to celebrate Computer Science Education Week. Joining us again this year is Code.org's Head of Product and Engineering, Alice Steinglass. You are all very familiar with Alice's work. Um, she led the development for the Hour of Code Star Wars and Minecraft tutorials, which you guys have probably been playing all week. So can I get everyone to give me a big round of applause and join me in welcoming Alice. Thank you. Great to have you here, Alice. Our first question this week comes from Stratford School. So, um, Roberto, would your class like to ask their question? Yes, we have Amog asking the question. Uh, my name is Amog, and my question is, why do you think coding is so important? Well, you know, Amog, uh, do you use technology? Do you ever use phones or computers or anything that... Yeah, yeah. I mean, these days we use it to have fun, we use it to communicate, we use it to schedule things, we use it for work. Technology is a part of everything we're doing, and learning a little bit of computer science is a way that you can learn a little bit about how all of that works, right? So, you know, in school you learn a lot of basic things. You learn reading, you learn writing. Um, you probably are going to learn a little bit about how your body works. Have you learned about the circulation and how you breathe and your lungs? Right, exactly. And so the idea with learning a little bit of computer science is it's that same set of skills for a lot of the world around you and how it works. So by learning a little bit of computer science, you can have a better idea when you're, no matter what you decide to do. Let's say um, you go into, you know, you become a doctor when you grow up, or you work in, um, you want to be an artist, or you want to be a farmer, or you want to be in, you know, marketing, or whatever it is you decide to do when you grow up. Um, probably that field is going to use technology. And a little bit about how it works, you can you can do a better job of working with the people who are doing that work, or if you decide, hey, I liked that. Like, how many people in your class really liked the Hour of Code, like computer science? How many people thought it was fun? Yeah? Yeah. So by doing, like, one try it and you get to say, you know, hey, I liked that, then you can go on and do more. And so if you want to study more computer science, there's a fantastic career out there in computer science. I love I love the fact that I have an engineering degree and get to do computer science. And if you decide to do that, um, you know, I want you to keep trying. Don't stop with one hour of code. Absolutely. Thank That's you. what this hour of code is all about. Our next question today is going to come from Nicole's classroom in Salt Lake City. My name's Eric. Okay. My name's Eric. And, uh, what extra classes did you have to take to help you get to where you are right now? What, sorry, what classes did I have to take? Yeah, like extracurricular. Oh, extracurricular classes. Um, I never took an extracurricular class. Um, I was really lucky that my school taught computer science. So I was able to start with computer science in school. And, um, and then I went on to college, and I majored in computer science in college. If, um, you know, I think there are a lot of a lot of computer scientists out there who don't take any extracurricular classes and find a way to do it um, in school. But if your school doesn't offer it, there are fantastic classes online. And if you go to code.org slash learn slash beyond, um, after you finish your hour of code, you can see links to all sorts of things you can do at home to keep doing the hour of code. Um, or sorry, to keep learning how to code. And that's everything from, um, it looks like, I, I don't know how old you are. How old are you? Oh, you're muted. I can't hear you. Um, but it looks 14. like you might... Sorry, what'd you say? 14? 14. Yeah. So if you're in high school, there's some great resources on, for example, Khan Academy, where you can keep, you can keep studying, um, or Code Academy, or Code HS. If you're younger, there are classes on Tinker. Um, lots of great classes out there to keep learning if your school doesn't offer it. But, you know, I, I took... Um, I took four years, I have a bachelor's degree in computer science, so, you know, four years of study, I took lots and lots of classes. I think computer science is something, uh, it's similar to a lot of fields, right? Anybody can get started, and you can do a lot, you know, pretty quickly, uh, but to really master it, it does take a lot of time, both in school and in practice and in a job, um, to grade at it. Just like, you know, learning some amount of biology is useful for everybody, but to become a doctor, to become a professional, you do have to take years of study to really learn it. 
and computer science is similar. It takes a long time to really master it and a lot of dedication. Okay, thanks. Yeah. Great answer, Alice. The hour of code is just the beginning, but it's important to keep learning. So we're going to jump next to Greg's class in Kauai, Hawaii. All right, do I have a question? Yeah, you can go ahead and answer. Um, do you think computer programming should be taught in school? Yeah, absolutely. Don't you? <laughs> you know, I'm so lucky that my school did teach computer science, and I wouldn't have the career I have today if I hadn't had a chance to learn it in school. Um, I think every school should have the opportunity to to learn computer science no matter what career you end up with, um, but also just because, you know, maybe you tried and you want to do computer science, and having um, having a tie to your school is a great first step toward that. Um, if any teachers are out there, it sounds like your teachers are probably all the ones who are already teaching computer science, so thank you. Um, but if, uh, you know, if your school doesn't teach it, um, I would recommend that you just try to find it on your own. Um, is online if your school doesn't teach it. And if your teachers are out there listening and you want to teach and you don't know how, um, on our website there's some great links and some workshops you can take for um, learning how to teach computer science. Thanks for that answer, Alice. And for one of our last questions, we're actually going to jump to a teacher who I know has been incorporating coding into his classroom. Um, Shane's class in Honolulu, Hawaii. What kind of what question do we have today? <laughs> So it was a little hard to hear that. Um, Kate, yeah. did you get the That's question? Do it again. That's it's great to see girls in computer science. So, what advice would you give to students struggling or just learning computer science? Oh, advice to students struggling are just science. Yeah, so one of the things that I think is great about computer science is you don't have to get it right the first time. So, uh, you know, if you guys did the hour of code, you saw that, you know, you can hit run and your guy doesn't get all the way to where he's supposed to go. And then you can hit run again and try it again and try something else and try something else. Computer science is all and trying it and trying it again and trying it again. Nothing you ever write in code is going to work the first time. And I think the difference, but you know, what will make you great is the fact that you keep trying. So if you don't give up and you just keep hitting run and you just keep trying, you'll eventually figure it out. And I have had nights where I, you know, there are days where things come easy and things work the first time, but there's a lot of times where you know, it work and um, and playing around, and sometimes you just discover something that you didn't think you would discover, and it's so much fun when you build it and it finally works, and you can show it to everybody, and you can be like, hey, I built that, and that works. So um, if you're struggling with it, um, you're probably doing it right. Um, it means you're trying something that's challenging. If it's you're not struggling, it's too easy, um, and you should try something a little harder and keep going for it. Um, everybody, you know, that's what learning feels like. Learning feels like just keep trying something, and something that's a little bit too hard, and keep trying and making it work. And that's true even when we build um, our software. So when we were building this tutorial, when we were first building the Star Wars tutorial, um, it's true for both tutorials, but the Star Wars tutorial, we were building it, and nothing worked the first time. So I remember going to Brendan's computer, we had those Probots, uh, giant and way too large, and kind of hiding your guy. And everywhere you look, there were these probots flying around the screen. And we're like, that's not correct. Um, let's try it again. So we tried to make them smaller, and then they were too small, and you couldn't see them. And then we made them bigger, and you know, playing around with it and trying to figure out how it works. That's part of that's part of building something. Uh, and I encourage you to just keep going for it. That's great advice, Alice, especially for students doing their first hour of code. It's so important to remember that it's okay if you don't do it exactly right the first time. So we have, since we have a smaller number of classrooms for this chat, we'd definitely like to loop back and see if anybody has extra questions. Um, Roberto's class, do you have another question you'd like to ask? Yes, we have one more question. Super. Come on up. How do you um, plan to encourage more girls to be more interested in coding? 
Yeah, how do we get more girls interested in coding? Well, it starts with you. Are you interested in coding? Yeah, I guess. Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> I think a lot of girls don't code because they've never tried it. Um, you know, I think girls, if you look at them, you know, we love to build things. We love to make things. We love to create things. And computer science is just about giving you the tools to create things. And those things that you create, they can be games, they can be stories, they can be apps. Um, girls use as many apps on their, you know, on the web and on their phones and on tablets as boys do. And I think if we give everybody the 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 ability to go try it, we're going to find a lot of women want to do it and a lot of girls want to do it. Um, you know, there's a there's a myth out there that girls um, do less science and math than boys do. If you actually look at the numbers, um, girls do as much science and math as boys do. There are more girls majoring in biology than there are boys. There are almost as many girls majoring in math or physics as there are boys. The one place where we don't have women and we don't have girls today is computer science and engineering. And, you know, you know, if we could um, just give, I think, all the girls the chance to try it, I, I think we'd find just as many girls are as interested in, um, you know, in building things as we are in biology and other things which are more traditional girl fields in science or math. So I hope you guys all try it out. I hope you guys think about what you want to build and what you would want to create. I know, you know, um, I'm, a, I'm a girl, now woman, in computer science and in engineering, and I think it's a fantastic field for women. And there's so much stuff that you can do and create and, and want to use. I love building things that I myself would want to use. And there are a lot of other women out there who will use it, and girls. So um, just try it out. I think we can do a lot there. But you're the beginning of it, so I want you to, I want you to try it, OK? <laughs> awesome. Thank you. Great advice, Alice. Is everyone, are all the girls on this call going to try computer science now? Yeah! Yay! Thank you. Um, Nicole's class in Salt Lake City, do you have another question you'd like to ask? We sure do. Was it hard going into this job being a woman, and how were you able to go through the things you did to become successful? You know, it actually wasn't hard at all being a woman in computer science because, you know, because, you know, women, I don't know, I, I just like building things and I'm building things. I think the thing that, that felt weird was that there weren't a lot of other women around, right? Um, and so when I took my classes in college, I would often look around and find that I was one of, you know, three or four girls in the room. Um, I've been on teams and worked in classes where I'm the only girl on the team. And that that is something that we can, you know, so for me personally, no, it was, it was fine. Like I had fun and I liked what I was doing and I liked building things. I mean, I worked on, I've worked on Xbox, I've worked on tools in Office, I've worked on HoloLens, I've done all sorts of amazing things and built things that I love to use and it was, you know, being a woman is just part of who I am and I think it, it gives me, you know, knowing that, that I can build something for other women and for men to use, I can bring all of that and, and all of the skills that I've got as a woman to the table and it's been really fun to be a female in computer science, um, but it would be more fun if there were more of you guys around with me. So <laughs> I think the, the one thing that I would love to see is I would love to, I would love to see more women at the table with me and you know, the more of you guys who want to try computer science and want to join, there's awesome opportunities in the field and there's also, you know, it is a career that um, that has a lot of flexibility, you know, I know you guys aren't thinking about someday, like right now you're probably not thinking about families and kids, but I have three kids and, you know, it's nice to be in a career where there is, you know, a good income, the ability to, I can leave work at any time and go to a doctor's appointment or take my kids to school, come back. Um, and so it's a great, it's a, I think it's a great career for women. And I hope that more, I hope I see more people at the table who are female to hang out with me. That would be great in a few years. Thank you so much. Um, Greg's class in Kauai, do we have another question you'd like to ask Alice? Hello, Alice. So I, I'm teaching high school, and of course the bell has rung, and all the kids decided that they needed to go eat lunch. So I am the sole survivor, but if you don't mind, I'd like to ask you a question. Go for it. Can you tell me uh, about one of the projects that you've worked on throughout your career that was especially fun for you or exciting or maybe got you hooked more or something that was really cool? 
<laughs> oh, there's so many. So the very first computer thing I built with computer science, I had a, I had a computer at home, and I had a little brother. Um, and if any of you guys have little brothers, you know what a problem they are. Um, and so I built this thing for my computer so that when my little brother would try to log on, um, it would beep really loudly, like, and then put in big letters on the screen, um, Seth, which is my brother's name, um, you have tried to break into my computer. Um, this incursion has been logged, um, and you are hereby banned from you know all all computer usage, etc. Um, and so I thought that was pretty cool. And my brother thought it was less cool than I did. Um, and then I think one of the things that got me excited once I got a little further into computer science, I could do more with it than just a warning for my brother, um, was that I could build things I wanted to use. Um, and so you know I. You know, math, I was always solving a problem that was, you know, stated and then there was one answer, right? So, you know, prove this. And so you had to work through and you had to do all the steps. It was interesting and the problems were fun, but at the end there was one answer. And I liked the creativity of, you know, English where you could write an essay about anything. Um, but, but then it's just an essay. And essays are great, but I wanted to build things. And the idea that I could... You know, I made a game, um, like a snake game, um, where a snake was going around the, the course and you tried to avoid things, it's sort of a variation on a game called Nibbles or Snake that you may have played. And I remember when I built it, I could build exactly what I wanted. There was no right answer to the problem. I could create it. I could decide how it was going to work. I decided which way the snake was going to move. I decided what happened when you did or didn't get an apple. And it was so much fun to be able to create it. And my, my teacher, who was grading it, um, ended up telling me that there was a bug in my program, which means there was something wrong with it. Um, and the thing that was wrong with it was if you played it for like 15 hours straight, um, it didn't go up to the, you could get a high score that didn't fit on the screen. Um, and he actually... He actually broke my program by staying up all night and playing it um, because it was so much fun, and it I didn't handle the high score he had got it because I never tested it that high. Um, and it's just cool to know you can do that and you can build that kind of thing. So you know, whatever it is you want to build, I think that's the funnest thing is when you get to create your own whatever you want to do. That's what's most fun about computer science. Awesome answer, Alice. And for everyone who's um, doing the Hour of Code this week, remember that at the end of the Star Wars and Minecraft tutorials, we have an option for you to build your own game. So if you liked what Alice was talking about and using your coding creativity to create something, be sure to check that out. Um, to wrap up, we'd just like to loop back to Shane and Hawaii. Do we have one more question? Would you like to be president one day in code? Would I like to be president one day and code? Is that what you were asking? Impacted. Oh, at code. At code.org? Is that what you're saying? No, I love my job. I get to I get to actually build the tutorials you guys just used. Like, how cool is that? I get to come to work and build things like you know, like the Star Wars tutorial and the Minecraft tutorial and um, work on all of the courses that go beyond that. So, you know, once you finish those tutorials, if you want to keep keep studying, we've got these CS Fundamentals courses for um, grades kindergarten through grade five. We have more courses to grade eight. We've got high school courses. You know, as far as I can tell, I have the best job in the world right now. So, um, yeah, that's I, I love what I do. I want to do exactly what I'm doing. Just keep doing it. I want to build things. That's why I got into it. So I wouldn't want to stop building things. Well, thank you so much, Alice, for joining us today. I know you had so many good insights about learning to code and what you can do creatively with coding. So if everyone could give me a big round of applause and thank Alice for joining us today. Thank you, guys. All right. Thank you so much, everybody.